Hello everyone, welcome back to Ross Handling. We often get questions about the bearings in our wheels, so we put together this video to answer some of those questions. Firstly, what is a bearing? A bearing reduces friction between moving parts, in this case between a wheel and an axle, making equipment easier to move. Where is a wheel bearing located? Well that one's easy, it's in the centre of the wheel. How does a wheel bearing work? Well there are three types of bearings, all with different properties and benefits. The three most common are roller, ball journal and taper roller bearing. Plain balls do not have any rolling elements. They generally run on a polypropylene shaft. Polypropylene is self-lubricated, so while extra lubrication is beneficial, it is not essential. These are ideal for wet environments as there are no metal components to corrode. Roller bearing or needle roller bearing. These are widely used to get lower rolling resistance and are ideal for dry and low load applications. Bearings of this type don't usually require maintenance as they are lubricated with long lasting grease at the time of assembly. The structure of a roller bearing consists of a plastic or metal retainer containing cylindrical steel rollers which rotate between the axle tube and the wheel hub. Ball journals are a sealed bearing unit which give a vastly lower rolling resistance. Available with a rubber seal to prevent dirt and grime entering the ball race. Ideal for high loads, this bearing is also available in stainless steel for wet environments. Lastly, there is the taper roller bearing, which improves maneuverability for applications involving heavy loads. Next question, can wheel bearings break? Yes, under extreme conditions they can, but they're easily replaced. It is good practice though to maintain the bearings in order to prolong the life of your wheel. Finally, how do I change a wheel bearing? To change each different type of bearing requires a different technique, so I'll go through each in turn. To change a roller bearing is relatively straightforward. The retaining collar, which holds the bearing in place, is easily removed, meaning the bearing can be replaced. Ball journal bearings are generally inserted into the wheel with the use of a press. For a taper roller bearing, take the protective cap off, then remove the retaining washer to release the bearing. For more help and guidance, please visit our website at www.rosscasters.co.uk or call 0116 276 4987 and our team will be delighted to help you.